Drinking water. Hydrating. Yeah. I always have water. Yeah. Shows how little you pay attention. True. To you? <laughs> Same. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid exits with Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Mmm. Get it. Juice it. Lick it. Rub it. To completion. What's the actual term for when you milk a cow? When you're actually pulling on the teat? Isn't milking it. it. Is it just milking? That's yes. all? There's not another term like a more They're scientific... farmers. No. They're farmers. <laughs> it's not... McStracting. Oh, they do that at McDonald's. That's McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Did I say that already? You did. I don't listen That's to That's why I, yeah, you say I don't listen to you. You don't even listen to you. No, I definitely don't. Yeah. This is all just repetition. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing a movie review. Welcome back to Classic Month. It's Classic little... Month. It's Classic Month. Tell your mom and dad. Uh, this is our third film of Classic Month. Yep. Uh, first, we saw the Hindi film Guide. Then we saw the Tamil Ra Superstar Rajakant film. Superstar. I can't pronounce it. Yep. Um, but it's... Uh, Can you pronounce this one? <laughs> 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 this one is even worse. Even harder to uh, pronounce. It's the 1987 Malayalam film. And I know I usually say between 1985 and 1980 before that. But Malayalam, I, I know, is a little different. Yeah. Uh, and the golden classic age is a little bit later than the other ones. And obviously I wanted to get to more... Um, M uh, Mohanlal, not Mahmoodi, yeah. Mohanlal classics, that which we haven't really outside of his, the one that he was the green-faced man, and I think we saw Irivar as well mm -hmm. with him, but I think these are the only three films so far, uh, that right? Is, that unless is I'm, correct. Um, unless I'm wrong. Yep, that's correct. Uh, but <laughs> 1987 Malayalam film, I can't even try. That's, well, how would you... Apparently it's translated into Dragonflies in the Spring Rain. It's very poetic. Yeah, very poetic. I and I know it's... And the way Malayalam say it, it's just... Uh, it's not even... Yeah. They, <laughs> it's and really it's impressive. Right, yeah, it's, it's impressive. Uh, but the uh, it's directed and written by... P. Padmarajan. Uh, and composed by Johnson and... Uh, Piramavorji Ravindranath. Uh, and starring... Mohanlal... Sumalata and Parvati. And uh, uh, quite a few other people, but those are your three main Correct. Uh, casts in yeah. this film. But obviously it came out in 1987. So if you, once again, all the classics will be completely spoilers. Just yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's classics. So yeah. if you haven't watched it, uh, we saw it uh, on Amazon. I'm sure you can find it other places in India as well. So go give it a watch. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. My initial thoughts... I have a lot that we will be talking about, obviously, as usual. That's not a, a surprise. I liked it. Mm-hmm. There's more about it that I liked than didn't like. So ultimately, it it, it, it I didn't love it, but I mm -hmm. liked it a yeah. lot. I stayed engaged and yeah. I really liked it. Um, I have some things that I don't like that are just showing you I had connectivity to the story. There's things about the story I just don't like. Oh. <laughs> but then there's also some things <laughs> I that I, guess what are, yeah. I don't understand yeah. in the story that I don't, that maybe you can help me understand uh. in terms of, the screenwriting, I yeah. didn't ha find justification for a couple of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where there was justification for things, yeah. I got pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually... So I, I liked it. I, I liked I, it. I enjoyed it as well. There, Especially there's... our three. Yeah, there's some stuff that, I, that I, I, I had some issues with as well. And some stuff that I was like, I don't know. Was that necessary uh, to be really in there mm -hmm. uh, and stuff like that? But overall, I really, I really enjoyed actually watching Mohanlal and, and the other actresses. Yeah, I thought this was actually a, a pretty, pretty progressive film for night. I mean, it's no surprises. My no, Adam cinema, right? No, exactly. They're always kind of pushing the boundaries of because uh, obviously you don't often see just obviously there's more of like a, a, a prostitute relationship, but then also them just casually having sex multiple times before they're married. And yeah. Do I love her? Do I love that? That that story has been around for a long time. I'm a, a, a man who loves or, or these one person or, the, or I guess it could be a female could Casablanca, right? Right. <laughs> that story is as old as time. As right. Somebody who loves two people and can't really decide. Right. Right. Um, to, to put it simply right for this film right um but i so i thought that that was a really cool part like we were pretty like 40 40 something minutes in maybe an hour 
my wife was like, when was this film made? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, 1987. It was they, like... There seems to be a pattern of the limited classics we've seen from all over India, because it really is limited compared to the amount that are there. Yeah. But repeatedly, it seems that South Indian films mm -hmm. tend to be way ahead of their time in terms of that subject matter yeah. compared to everywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, let's talk about our performances first, and then we'll get into yeah, and then we'll get the, into the uh, story, the story and, and, and the details and stuff like that. Um, Mohan Lal, I, I really actually enjoyed his performance. It was very subtle. Yep, uh, which is, I think is his his mo. No, we've seen four. We have Drishyam two. Oh, you're absolutely right. We saw four. That's right. Uh, which is probably his more, uh, more mo most, recent. most recent that we've seen of his. Uh, I, I do believe it's four. Maybe I'm missing one, so you guys can let me know. But uh, from the other ones we've seen, it, that seems to be his M.O. Is, mm -hmm. is, is pretty grounded, pretty small. Um, but I thought he had a, a really interesting character here. I thought he showed a lot of emotion. I thought he showed a lot of connectivity with his with his co stars mm -hmm. um, and 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 things like that. I and I really enjoyed his before. I thought it was very very subtle yeah uh performance uh what do you think of uh, i Love? i agreed it made me as i always do refresh my memory and go in and look and see where his background is and who he is personally and uh i i i enjoyed it there were only a couple of moments it's always <laughs> and i don't under i, I i'll never understand because it's still in indian cinema mm. you're laughing <sighs> no intimacy oh just it's it's always so awkward and it, it, it hurts my heart to see one of the most important aspects of human existence be portrayed with for, for two reasons one the portrayal is just painful to see and two because movies are storytelling and storytelling is teaching i wonder how many people have learned intimacy through films that present it in a way that is very uncomfortable very unnatural very not real uh so it, it's just those moments were the only moments i felt weren't believable every yeah. other moment in the film and that was for everybody not just yeah. him but i i am not surprisingly very impressed with his work as an actor in this i don't know which moments you're talking about but um anytime they tried to kiss or be intimate okay but what like even in the water yeah. Oh, Did yeah. you? No, yeah. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. No, part. I mean, I, that's, it was very Indian. The laying in the, it, talking and conversing in the water is fine. But the moment they would go to do an embrace and a kiss, it was always shielded and stopped so you couldn't see the kiss. Um, you knew they weren't kissing. That's Indian cinema, unfortunately. I unfortunately. Get I get it. Right. I get it. But that's. Which immediately. You, you knew that you was. Out. But you knew that was going to happen. That's just what happened in Indian it cinema. It still doesn't allow me to just set that aside and believe people are kissing when they're not. So. Yeah. So yeah. I was. I've. That doesn't. I mean, obviously, I. I I would prefer people to, you know, be actually, real. Yeah, do what people do in real life. We've been watching Indian cinema for like four years now, so I. It's it'll just, always, it'll it, never not bother. It me. just, well, Shahrukh <laughs> Khan doesn't do it, <laughs> and it always bothers me because I know every role he plays. When I go in, I know before I go in that SRK's personal preference is always going to trump that character's needs. Yeah, I think that's the audience's preferences for India. It's yeah, just, I it's, just it's obviously whatever. Different. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I, I get it. I understand your, your gripe there. But I, I enjoyed a lot of like in terms of like cinematically them laying in the water and they're conversing. As long as they your... weren't kissing, the talking and the laying around, <laughs> okay. I agree. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that moment like when they're laying on the beach and he's laying on her, I thought there was a lot of, for Indian cinema, a lot of like more intimate moments than you would normally get. <laughs> Uh, At that time as well, yes. even shirtless guys. Yes. Yeah. Uh, agree. And obviously, like the fact that they were laying in bed mm -hmm. under the sheet. Under they the... clearly just had sex premaritally, right? Sinfully. Yeah. Uh, and so there was a lot of those moments, which is kind of why I call this a little progressive for yeah, the time for, sure. for Indian cinema. Uh, agree. Uh, I, I appreciated that. But uh, let's talk about the ladies as well, because um, they were both phenomenal. Agreed. Um, and. I, I uh, we'll talk about the story in a little bit, but they're both both of their performances. Um, which one was the uh, Parvati? Was the prostitute right? No, no, no. Parvati was the first one that he proposed Rada, to. who he proposes to in college, and Claire was and the prostitute. Clara is the one who is the pro he sleeps with the virgin, the prostitute. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, I loved her performance, Clara. Mm -hmm. I thought she 
presented uh, a lot of innocence, but also a lot of beauty, beauty and power. <laughs> yeah, uh, sexual power for uh, she was supposed to be a virgin here, but she was convincing in her portrayal. Um, I, I believe their chemistry together, all of them. Mm -hmm. um, I believe, uh, and Parvathy's character had a little bit more of a of a interesting dynamic obviously yeah rada and i i wish that i do wish there was a little more in depth of why she fell for him eventually there's a lot of more things that i have a lot of questions about yeah. not just that but other things as well that are but similar it, it does happen in yeah. indian cinema quite a bit though yeah the, the, but, like they don't have any interest and then now they're interested right it's kind of something that you just like the kiss again. You just, especially in older films, especially in older films. Yeah, it's just like, you just accept that's it. It's just what happens. You don't have to like it, but you accept it. That's the um, way it happens, right? But yeah, Parvati and Sum, uh, Sumalata. Forgive us if it's mispronounced. Gave really strong, good performances, and I love their chemistry with Mohanlal. I completely agree. Yeah. I just never cease to be impressed it seems by all of the ladies that we've seen in classics and everything else indian cinema uh, does women very well i mean not every aspect of women but in terms of often putting a woman's story a strong woman at the forefront and i will say though we talk a lot about the the male actors that we admire and respect a lot part of that's because as male actors those are the people we look at in the roles that we would want to play and things of that nature yeah. but if we probably did a very deep dive into it we would find that more female performances are superlative yeah. than male performances yeah, in in indian cinema that we've seen they yeah. just never cease to just hit it out of the park yeah. i loved both of them yes yeah. i did too and yeah. i was uh I there was, the two of I mean, those three are the movie. I was invested in what the hell was going on. Me too. She, the um, Claire was a very Jenny character from Forrest Gump. Do you feel? Mm. She like loved him, but then she just left. And she left. But that, then I she would come back, and then she would leave. <laughs> It's, yeah, uh, it's I describe that as Jenny from yeah, Forrest Gump. and Rada for me was the Kashi of the film. Yes, um, I was as angry with him as I was with Ranveer in Baju Bajiramastani. Yeah, and just thought at the end. Obviously, if you haven't seen this, you you shouldn't be watching now. Yeah, I did not like the ending. For 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 the same reason I didn't like what happens in Bajiramastani. It's all about rada for me and the fact that he did it again and he says to her at one point even i don't know how i'm gonna behave when it comes to this girl okay bye <laughs> i wanted her to turn around and leave at the train station when he turned and saw her because again he went behind her back mm -hmm. to go see this girl and the only reason he's not with this girl is because she got married which by the way really really healthy reason to get married i wrote it down <laughs> One of the healthiest reasons to get married is so that you ensure you're never with the person you really love. Perfect. Wonderful. I want to go to weddings like that all the time. But that showed you my investment that I cared so much yeah, about these it, characters. And it, I got pissed so much when they did things that yeah, annoyed me. I just me. watched the first season of White Lotus. Fantastic series if you haven't oh, seen it. But like, great. So you saw season one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we're one or two episodes into season two Okay, so far. great, great. But there's, Love I'm not going to give anything away, but there's one couple that the fact that they end up together in the end kind of pissed me off. Yeah. Uh, you know who I'm talking I about. Because uh, the guy just had the most punchable face I've ever seen in my goddamn <laughs> life. Every single time Didn't he came, he piss you off? Oh, it pissed me off Every so minute. So with Johnny uh, and I, we were so mad. He it, did a great job. The yeah. Oh, did a great job. Fantastic job. Yeah. Hats off to him. But anyway, that's not what this is about. Yeah. But the... Um, I, I get what you're saying, um, and it was it, in Casablanca. If you haven't seen Casablanca, very sim, very different story. Very different, very story. different story. But in terms of like a female loves two men, and she can't decide who she wants to be. Right. One stable, one she has more passion with. Correct. And it's similar. It's right. A, I mean, he probably has more passion with uh, with Clara, uh, uh, and that's obviously evident. Uh, and so maybe he was following his penis a little bit there. Um, but uh, yeah, but I, I get it at the end that I'm like, one, Clara, you could have come back and you guys could have gotten married. Don't understand why you couldn't. You I don't know why she left in the first place. You, you, this is very Jenny. That's <laughs> yeah, but she wasn't a Jenny. She was a very innocent, virginal girl. She yeah, wasn't she, this rebel. She wants to go 
explore the world, I think. Uh, and she doesn't want to be tied down. So she didn't love him. No, I think she loved him, but she also, similar to Jenny. Jenny pissed me off in, in Yeah, but Jenny was lot. screwed up. She's not screwed up. This is an Indian film, so she can't yeah. be as screwed up as Jenny. <laughs> Shouldn't have to be as screwed up. It's... It just seemed like this very innocent, virginal girl who loves this man so much that she's willing to give him her virginity. Just bolts. Yeah. But I, there was multiple scenarios. That part at the end, she was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you should say that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's, once again, it's also part of Indian cinema, Indian culture in terms of like, the, he meets a girl, I'm going to marry you. Right, right off the bat. Mm-hmm. The other girl kind of just putting up with male antics because mm. they live in a village. It's a male dominated world. You're just there to be married to a man. Right. Oftentimes, especially obviously right. when this came out. And so yeah, I I was like shocked that she still stayed. I was like, he's he's here right. at the train station. He wants to leave with again. Her. And you said <laughs> he wants to don't ever do that again. The the ending didn't piss me I like in terms uh, of like bothered me. Um justice all for all of that. Justice for Rada. <laughs> Justice for Kashi. <laughs> because I was just like, yeah, he's probably going to fuck up that relationship anyway. Um, and I have another question about him early on in the film as well. Mm. So if he was so committed to his own promise that he would not sleep with a virgin unless she became his wife, and he loves Clara, mm -hmm. why, why didn't he marry her? Well, I th he obviously wanted to, and I think, well, also that... that well, she came back. Yeah, she came back. So when she came back... But then she kept leaving as well. Because she was like, I, I don't... Because I think he accepted that she didn't want it, and so he was just happy to be there with her. And because she asked, she's like, I don't... I thought of what I would do if you proposed again, is what she said, obviously, when, when she finally came back, right? Um, and I think he just accepted that this is the relationship they were going to have. Yeah, see, th that's where the comparison... I think using it's just because you're a romantic as well. No, nah, it's because using... The, like, for example, use it, it's just it, the logic of it all. The Jenny comparison. Jenny, from the get-go, you see why Jenny is so screwed up and why she can't be with someone she loves and she's always undermining her own best interests and it's heartbreaking to that extent because if she could just heal... They'd be together. I, I didn't see. I don't know if she. Clara didn't have any issues like that. I think she was a free spirit in terms of. I, I got that vibe from her. Well, she came to him. She didn't want to be tied living down. Living with mom. Yeah. She wanted to experience the world, I think, is what it was really what it was. And she didn't really love him. That's fine. Yeah. Well, obviously, she she left. So <laughs> at the, I think at the time, she was like, I, I think I love you, but I also want to experience the world. Hmm. So, and I think a lot of people can relate to that in terms of they're not ready for commitment. They might love somebody, but they're not ready for commitment as well. Well, th that you I are understand. A, you are a romantic, very and much. So you you want you need that well, and that a realist passion, that love. Yeah. Well, I think I think I don't think there's anything non-realist about people not wanting to commit. That's no, no. Of course, I wouldn't say there's anything unreal about them not wanting to commit. That that, that part of it didn't bother me. Uh, one part of the film that I just didn't understand of that whole them pranking the guy and going to oh. saying they were going to kill him right oh no like they a, weren't pranking <laughs> i don't i don't know that there's ever been a, a more uncomfortable torture scene than bending his toes i but i don't think i've ever seen anything more brutal but i just been did, taking a guy's toes and bending him hard in the back seat of a car that's almost unbearable to watch no i'm just saying like <laughs> that whole scene i was like i didn't like even understand the need for it very much. I didn't understand the need for that character, period, in the yeah, story. Yeah, that, so, And it made me dislike Mahanla's character. Well, I think they were trying, I don't, I, in this they aspect. They wanted him to move. They, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, but I think like, they wanted to show his, like, male ego, his ego, like, when he's with his friends and how. But we already yeah, got that. He, yeah, I know, I agree. Yeah. I don't think this part was needed. Agreed. Uh, th that whole sequence. Right. You, you, and it may be in the book and it's you important. You might disagree us, uh, and you might be yeah. able to tell us why, but that whole, I think you could have cut that whole scene out and it would been a little over two hours and Agreed. probably a, a, a better runtime there. How'd you like the Paul Simon and Whitney Houston music? <laughs> I, 
I did notice that, that was a lot. Shocking. I did notice that yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, okay cool. cool. Yeah, well, that's fine. Yeah. I don't mind it. Speaking of music, yeah. loved the score. I did too. Yeah. Both like the two songs, the, the 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 main like the actual songs I thought were really, really nice. I did too. Uh, and, and they didn't those. that's another thing about South Indian films. I feel a most them, a lot of them are Roger. Or yeah, Aaron and I feel <laughs> I feel a lot of the songs fall more under the side of a um moving forward of the story mm -hmm. yeah. than just a standalone item number to yeah. titillate and entertain. They have those, yeah. but the majority of them mm -hmm. propel the story forward, and they, they tend to be this collage of moment yeah. than just a standalone. And I, I thought... The theme for them musically was beautiful. Yeah, uh, I just I thought the score was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So uh, overall, I, I I really did enjoy the film. It's I, I, I there's some issues obviously we, we had we obviously talked about. Yeah, but I I'm I'm glad we're we're getting to some Mo, Mohanlal classics because I know he's one of the greats, if not the great of Malayalam cinema. Him, for sure, him and Mamudi probably are the two like that are. Yeah, I think people would say are like the kings of acting in Malayalam cinema, especially yeah. of older yeah. Malayalam cinema. Um, and so I, I would love to get to a lot more, because everything we've seen him in, we've liked him, his performances. We absolutely all very, have. All very different. Um, Drishyam 2 is probably my least favorite, but that's maybe because we didn't see the first one. We were expecting something different. Right. All that kind of stuff. But especially of his older stuff, of the the um, Iravar, which we loved, which was um, Money Rottenham, right? Mm -hmm. uh, then the the green face one, which was harder for a foreigner to uh, understand the whole story, but his acting was clear that it was really really good. Yeah, and then obviously this as well. Uh, I think he gives really good performance, and so do both of the ladies. They do, and I I really appreciate it. And I don't know how true it would be to the original material because it's my understanding it's adapted from a story. Uh, yeah. And I I did recognize and appreciate a couple of things. One being. The intentionality with which this was directed and I could feel the, a lot of times you watch a classic especially and you can feel the love of making the film how mm. how hard they try to make things look nice and I I did appreciate the symbolic nature of rain yeah and how it when it was there what it meant and what it means for the unpredictability and the lack you can't control feelings that you may have about someone as they come to you and the lack of the rain at the end i, yeah. I that was not obviously yeah. missed on us in any way and i thought i would just mention that yeah no I, i'm glad you mentioned that yeah um, the rain was a, a big character big character in the story in the entire film yeah and we have a lot of rain here right now we sure do oh well, we're We've been dry for a few days, but thankfully we're, 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 about we're getting get more. To, about to get a little more rain. Yeah, um, but yeah, uh, really enjoyed the film. Let us know what the next Malayalam classic, uh, whether it's Mohanlal or others. Yep, because uh, I this might be one of the oldest Malayalam. Probably is, and thankfully available on Amazon. Yeah, which, which was great. a surprise. That's um, wonderful. But. Um, and didn't I, have much problems with the subs, it seems. There was a little problem with the graininess of the 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 cut the, the yeah um, quality of the quality film. of the the actual picture. Yeah, uh, it wasn't like blurred, but like it had like red going over. I think it was. I think it's deteriorating just deteriorating a little bit. By the time they digitized it, it was old. Yeah, yeah. Um, but other than that, it was. I thought they did a, a really fine job. So let us know what the next Malayalam film should be, Moh Mohanlal or others, uh, and what you thought about this film down below. <laughs> Thank you.